Okay, I want to show you a few quick examples of the co-function identities. Um, and these identities are in your textbook on page 558 in the little gray box. Um, and they're really quite easy to understand. They look a little bit scary. But let's just draw a right triangle here. And I'll, I'll try to show you what, what they mean by these co-function identities. So if I draw a right triangle, and let's label it triangle A, B, C. So small c here, small a here, small b here. Now, if I look at this picture and I ask, what is the sine of angle a? You know from, you, from, from using the sine rules that it's opposite over hypotenuse. So it's a over c. Okay. Now, this co-function says the sine of phi is equal to the cosine of 90 minus phi. So, um, first of all, <clears throat> let's pretend we have some angles here, so we'll call this one 30, and we'll call this one 60, and that, of course, is 90. So, I can also call this the sine of 30 equals A over C, right? Now, what if I want to do... A, something from angle B. Suppose I want to do the cosine of B. Do you know how to do the cosine of B? Well, the sine of B would be B over C, so the cosine of B would be adjacent over C, so that would be A over C. Whoa! And what's the angle of B? That's really uh, cosine 60 equals A over C. You see anything interesting there? The sine of 30 is the same thing as the cosine of 60. And that's what this means. The sine of 30 is the same thing as the cosine of 90 minus 30, which is 60. And that works for all angles. So if I had 10 degrees here, this would be 90. The sine of 10 would be the same thing as the cosine of 90. And basically, that's all the co-function identities are telling you. Um, and, but this, this sort of picture here, I guess, proves it for you. And hopefully you'll be able to use the co-function identities now. Now, another thing that was scary was looking at that symbol phi. Because up, up until this, we've always been doing things like sine theta. Right? I can do sine phi. I can do sine beta. Oftentimes, you will we'll see Greek letters of the alphabet used in terms of sine and cosine. We also used a Greek letter in the last section that we studied. Remember the sigma? That's a Greek letter. So get used to them. Don't let them scare you. We too often use theta, but get used to using some of the other ones and practice writing them. They're a little bit fun. All right.